guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bree. That's Rex in the corner. I'm literally cracking up. He's just posing right there. That's Rex. My name is Bree. This is Balancing Life with Bree. If you're new here, hi, hello. I'm glad to have you here. So quick rundown on my channel. I do weight loss content, plus size, mid-size clothing, favorites videos, stuff like that. So if you like any of those kinds of things, make sure to subscribe down below. That's Josie. You'll probably see Jackson too. I have three dogs and they are the loves of my life. Anyway, so quick rundown of me. This is going to be a what I eat in a day video, just showing you what I eat throughout the day, you know, the huge. Um, so if you've been following me for a while, you know, I'm a huge Cincinnati Bengals fan and they freaking beat the cheese. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Like I was screaming at my TV. The dogs were like, what the hell is going on? And I was like, Wah! like freaking out. So we're going to the Super Bowl, and I'm so, so hype. So the only reason why I'm telling you guys that right now is because I don't have any leftovers for lunch because we decided to go out to dinner to celebrate. We went to a place called Roosters, and then I had a delicious, they have this like salad, and then they put a chicken tender on top, but I have them toss it, and they're like garlic sauce whatever i don't know it was really really good so i had that salad for dinner and i don't have leftovers so most likely i'm probably gonna make wontons or a bagel we'll see whatever i decide to make um but i do have a kroger click list pick up later so i'm going to be showing you guys everything that i'm buying for the week it's kind of like a scheduled sunday but not really at the same time i'm just going to tell you the meals that i'll be making and then the food that i got at kroger so i'll show you guys that later um for dinner tonight it's still kind of up in the air which you'll have a recipe i'll show you guys the recipe no worries but yeah so basically this morning just a quick rundown of what i've eaten already i had my protein coffee which if you guys don't already know i use these nespresso pods so this is the one that i use the double espresso cairo chiro i don't know how to say it properly but I use that with the vanilla premier protein. I do need to go back to Costco because I want to try the Fairlife vanilla protein shakes because you guys told me that they're really, really good. So I want to pick some of those up. And then I had a yogurt bowl, which all I do in my yogurt bowl is I do a half a cup of vanilla Greek yogurt. And then I do a quarter cup of the fiber one cereal. I add a tablespoon or two of the like frozen whip topping, a little bit of brown sugar, and then, um, fruit so like any fruit but i don't have any because i need to go to kroger so i just had it kind of plain like no fruit this morning but it was still really really good and they keep me full pretty much until lunchtime so it's like 11 13 right now so i'm going to feed my dogs let them outside hang out with them for a bit because i always come home on my lunch i'm going to be going to the gym right after work so i'm going to go work get off work at four go to the gym work out until like 5 30 go pick up my click list then come home so it's gonna be a busy busy day but i'm gonna take you guys along with me and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video okay so sorry in advance you can hear my air fryer but this is what i'm taking back to work so i have a fair life protein shake these are 30 grams of protein 150 calories and they are the bomb.com i decided to take back wontons so these are the ones that i buy they're called bbgo i get the chicken and cilantro i get these bags from costco because they're so much cheaper if you buy the big bag at costco or sam's than buying them at kroger and then I'm pairing it with some of this Terry Ho's yum yum sauce. This is the light yum yum sauce. And it's 90 calories for two tablespoons of that, which is kind of high, but honestly, I think it makes a really big difference. And I can have a lot of wontons with minimal calories. So have my yum yum sauce right here. And then for pre-workout snackies, I have a cheese stick and a Mott's sugar-free applesauce. I eat these on the way to the gym. I'll probably drink this around two. I'll eat these wontons when I get back to work. And then I have been chugging water out of this cup. I got these from Costco last year. They're color changing. So like it starts off pink and then when it's full with like cold stuff, it turns purple. This is my third water of the day and it's now 11.45. So go me. Anyway, I'm going to pack all this stuff up. I'm going to head back to work, then head to the gym, have my gym bag like completely packed. I did buy one of the um, pads to put over barbells because literally there's like none of them at the gym ever and it drives me nuts so i just went ahead and bought my own material girl but yeah so i'm gonna pack this stuff up head my booty back to work and i will check in with you guys later hello i'm back from the gym i'm gonna show you my kroger haul and then i'm going to also show you the new protein powder i got new pre-workout i got and bcaas because i went to gnc so okay I'm going to put the recipes for the things that I'm going to be making this week. I actually started like a Google, it's not like a Google doc. Well, it is. It's a Google, 
excels Google of like all my recipes and stuff that I've been eating. And then I like literally every single recipe I've ever made that I've liked, I started putting in this document. And I did chicken, beef, and some pot crock pot, and then like non, like no meat recipes. If you guys want me to share that, let me know. I'll figure out how to do it. I just don't want people to be able to edit it. That's the only thing. Anyway, so quick little Krogi haul protein pasta. I love this stuff. So I got it in this form and in the spaghetti. I think I'm going to go ahead and make spaghetti tonight because I want like an easy dinner. So I have spaghetti and then to go with my spaghetti, this Rayo sauce, Kroger. If you have a Kroger, they have a dollar off coupon on their app right now, just so you know, and it should still be working by the time this video goes up. Anyway, so marinara sauce, Rayo's, really, really good, really, really low calorie, low point etc. I got some more of those Carmaster protein smoothies. So I got a blueberry, a honey banana, and a vanilla. The honey banana is new. I haven't had that one yet. Fun fact, I hate bananas with a burning passion just by themselves. The texture of them makes me want to throw up. So, but I like them when they're in smoothies. So we're, we'll see. We'll see how I feel about that. I got some more mozzarella string cheese for snackies. My Kroger finally has a reduced fat cheese, so I don't have to go to Walmart. So this is reduced fat, 40% less, blah, 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 Mexican blend, because I'm going to be making a uh, like chili later this week. I got this Coffee Mate Caramel. They subbed it, which I picked Kroger brand, and they subbed it, and they give you the bougier brand for the same price. So winning here. Some half and half, because that's for a recipe this week. I got some more Fiber One cereal because I have been putting this in my yogurt bowls every single morning. So, so good. I got, there's so much stuff. I got two things of the low sodium chicken broth, some tomatoes, you know, this is coming off Rotel, black beans, some 100 calorie packs of almonds. These are literally amazing. And then you guys already know I hate cutting up my onions. So I got two bags of the frozen onions that are already cut up for me. These are a lifesaver when I'm cooking. I got some more everything bagels because I love them. Also, I didn't know they had this, which is kind of nice. They have a refill for the Dawn Power Wash, which is like way cheaper than the bottle. So I'm gonna do a little refill, which is exciting. I got some more Dots pretzels. Those were in my favorites video because they're seriously so stinking good. Let me grab some things. My kitchen counters are covered guys. Like I'm literally trying. So I got some of these Santa Fe style salads. They're 250 calories for the whole thing. And there's chicken in them, corn, you know, I got three of them just for funsies. Could be as a side. I got some Laura's lean ground beef because this is what I'm going to put in my spaghetti tonight. I got some bell peppers because I'm going to make that creamy fajita pasta, which I haven't made in a hot minute. And I was looking it up today when I was making my little sheet and I was like, holy crap, I haven't made that in forever. I got some more vanilla Greek yogurt. This is a light and fit. I picked the Kroger, got the bougier one because I didn't have it. And then I got a pack of chicken, but it's over there. I might have already showed you another pack of chicken. I don't remember. And then I wanted to try these because they just looked interesting. So these are the Philadelphia cheesecake crumbles. So they're 290 calories, but I just thought they looked fun. So I'm going to try one of those. So yeah, I just got a lot of meat. I'm gonna make some chilies. I got some coffee filters. I got some carpet freshener for getting in the nitty gritty. I got some more deodorant. Um, But yeah, so that is my little Kroger haul. I will be back after I put all this stuff away to show you guys my pre-workout, post-workout, my BCAAs, and then my protein. So BRB. Okay, pardon my hairs, by the way. They're, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm, these are just like, Anyway, so BCAAs, a few of you guys have kind of like asked me, quite, oh, I can't take myself seriously. Oh my gosh, okay. A few of you guys have asked me about like BCAAs, pre-workout, that kind of stuff. So for BCAAs, that's basically just like an amino acid that you take after your workout, which is going to help with muscle recovery. So I use the Ghost Sour Patch Kids Watermelon. It's not sour, it's actually really sweet and I love it, it's so, so good. So. I take that after my workout. I got a new pre-workout, so I always typically use the Beyond Raw Lit. I have tried the My Adventure to Fit as well, the grape one, that's good, but I wanted to try something different, so I bought this one, and this is the orange mango flavor, which I'm very, very excited about. And I've tried it, and I really, really like it. I used to try, I used to have like the watermelon one, but I like this one a lot. 
And then this one I kind of just decided to get on a whim because I want to start baking more with protein powder. And I got this Ghost Whey Protein and this is coffee ice cream flavored. So it's 120 calories for one whole scoop and has 25 grams of protein in it. So I'm gonna try to make a dessert with it. Maybe tonight, maybe not tonight, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna try to be doing that. Ooh, I could try to make like an ice cream. That kind of sounds good. Okay, anyway, I'm, I've decided I'm making protein spaghetti tonight because I just want something quick and easy. You don't have to spend a lot of time in the kitchen when you're trying to lose weight. Fun fact. Anyway, I'm going to get off here because I have to do some cleaning. So I made myself a cleaning chart. So like every single day, cause I don't know about you guys, but I used to be the person who would like neglect everything until the weekend. And then I would power clean my house and go into like a frenzy. But I made one. So like each day I do something different. So today I'm sweeping and mopping the floors of my kitchen. I'm making my bed every day, cleaning my counters every day. I'm vacuuming upstairs today and I'm cleaning the bathroom. So I'm gonna do that in between and then I'm gonna cook dinner and then I will have a dessert and then that will be the end of this video. So I just wanted to show you guys that because these have been like really helpful in my journey for my workouts at least. And yeah, so I will check in with you guys later. Okay, so I have showered, done my nightly routine, and I'm gonna try one of these Philadelphia cheesecake crumbles. This is a strawberry one. So you get like the crumblies on top. I've never had one of these before. They just looked really good. So we're gonna, ooh, yeah, look at that. Consistency. It says on the packaging that the strawberry's at the bottom. So I'm gonna, oh, that's good. Ooh, my goodness. Okay, I make sure to put the points for it down at the bottom of the screen. But like you guys know, I'm doing calories right now, which this is the reason, guys, why I like doing calories because it's just calories. Okay, and I don't have to worry about points at the moment, but I'll make sure to put them, even if it's big, I will still put them in the bottom of the screen. Sorry, I'm like mixing this. Woo, baby. I love cheesecake, so. Okay, I'm gonna try a bite and give you guys my honest thoughts of everything all together. Oh my God. That is amazing. Holy cow. A million out of 10, honestly. Okay, so run through of my day. Had my, just a recap, protein coffee, two points on Weight Watchers or iTrack Bites slash healthy, about 190 calories. Then I had my breakfast bowl, which is the vanilla Greek yogurt, the Piper One cereal. You guys already know the deal on that. I have a video, um, which I'll link in my description if you're curious on how to make that. Then I had my wontons, a cheese stick, an applesauce. I did grab a pack of almonds when I got home from the gym. I had my BCAAs, my spaghetti and meat sauce, and then this, and that's wrapping up my day for the day. I've been drinking water all day, so I'm giving myself a Diet Dr. Pepper. I shouldn't be drinking this because it's 10.48 p.m., but your girl's thriving. Anyway, so I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like videos like these, please make sure to subscribe down below. You know, let me know what you've been eating. Give me some ideas. Like I said, I did make that giant like Excel sheet. So we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. 
Also, if you're not part of our Facebook group, if you're not also following these two creators, you definitely should. It's Roy and Jennifer with Recipes with Roy, and then Jennifer is just Jennifer Lynn. They both do Weight Watchers slash um, healthy content. So we have a Facebook group together, and basically we post recipes. Like people comment on there all the time. I'm pretty active on there. I respond to people, stuff like that. So. If you're interested, I'll make sure to put that in the description box as well. But until next time, I want you guys to remember that every day is a new day to pop like and drop those pounds. Bye, guys.